Welcome to my life as an NPC, I am Carbon Seth and today we're going to play a different timeline of College Kings 2. I actually got a request where one person wanted me to play as a member of the apes and hook up with Samantha. I already tried this once and I tried to replicate it as much as possible and therefore and on the screen you can see my choices for how my relationships were. In the first try, I did actually make Aubrey and Riley both friends with benefits with me, but very quickly, very quickly, we realized that Riley actually wanted to uh, go into a romantic relationship with both me and Aubrey, and it kind of ended up being a, me accepting it, so I will definitely play that in the future, most likely in private. Uh, but yeah, so now I'm trying to play this over again and only making Aubrey because obviously we're going to have s you would have sex with Aubrey if you're in the apes. Yeah. And then we're doing our best to hook up with Samantha here. However, Samantha did leave early with uh, her brother Cameron, I believe, not Grayson, Cameron. And uh, so there's a high possibility that we don't get to see her in this episode. But let's uh, try it out. And my name is Kurt. And this we have seen already. We are reminiscing about our trip. And you know, we are trying to figure out whether or not... Or we're thinking about whether or not Charlie gave us something to think about. Uh, and no, I don't think he gave me anything to think about. Not at all. I'm completely content with all the choices I made. Well, maybe it's just me then. You okay? Uh, yeah, I just get this for a second there. Oh, so this is where she was supposed to uh, confess to my to me, actually. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, Red. And since I haven't said anything that makes her me makes her think that I'm thinking of her, she is just holding it all back. God damn! Ah, that sucks. Sucks ass. And we're talking to Julia, our mother, and uh, she's on a top secret job mission, but we never get to see what that is. And now we're at the, looking at a beautiful bed. Look at that beautiful bed. Oh, the things I'm going to do to you. Like sleep for nine hours straight. Nine. Like, try 24. Uh, I won't be letting anyone bother me tonight. And here's Grayson. Charlie's boyfriend is back! Oh. What the fuck did you just say? You want a piece of me, boy? Ah, what's your tone, fruitcake? I was just joshing. With how defense you got, uh, though, it does make you wonder a bit. Uh, fuck you, Grayson, I hate you. Where's this uh, annoying joke coming from, Grayson? It's a pretty well known fact. Uh, it's pretty well known that Charlie liked, liked fucking with you. The fact that he was on vacation and still couldn't take his mind off of you. Maybe it's that beautiful sparkle in your eyes. I can't stand that fucker, you have no idea man. He made my life a living. Keep that anger build up brother. We're gonna need you to have that energy in a few weeks. Or there's a smell in the shame smell of change in the air. And you need to be ready. What exactly are you talking about? All you need to know is that you should stay clean, be a good boy, and get into shape. Are we fighting soon? Is this what's up? Yes, be ready. Oh yeah, and welcome back. Monkeys for life, and apes for life. You will never make any sense to me. Fucking Cinderella boy. Yet leg recovery begins in 5, 4, 3, 2, boom. And the phone vibrates. And let's see. We got a message from Chloe. You won't believe what I'm looking at right now. Oh, 
like we're supposed to actually respond to this. No! We don't get to respond to this! Oh, that's so... That's so evil. When you're his her girl, boyfriend, you get to respond to this. And she's not happy. Mm -mm. Oh, right. Now I have to make sure it actually happens. Okay. Who's putting up my phone? There we go. You won't believe what I'm looking at right now. Lindsay and I are not friends anymore. I'm gonna need your help with the president thing. Big time. Kurt! Right, you're probably asleep. When you read this, just meet me in the hall near Mrs. Rose's classroom at 10. Fuck, what time is it now? 9.50... No shit! Get rest, get out. And Lindsay for president. Holy shit, this is serious. Lindsay returning the promise. Freaking everywhere. I can see why Chloe was freaking out now. We have seen this. We already know that Chloe is pissed. Um, and we are apes, so obviously we're going to go with Imre's suggestion and uh, want the hardest chick in uh, in uh, the, the, as president. But uh, honestly, I think I'm going to go for Linz in this one. Not gonna lie, that seems like a genius way to decide things. <laughs> Many call me Einstein of decisions making. Decision making. Why are you saying that wolves are supporting Chloe though? Oh, because that part is true. Chris and Chloe have always been tight, and they get along well as presidents. There's no doubt in my mind that this is what Chris would want me to be doing. So if you excuse me, I'll be getting back to impressing the pretty woman. Uh, I mean, Chloe. Vote for Chloe! Look at that rack! That man is a whole ass character. Oh, here comes Chloe. And she e ain't happy. There you are. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm seeing it. She's definitely serious about this. And whoop, we've seen this. Um, in this one, I'm actually, as I said, going to help Lindsay. Chloe, I want to help you, but I don't have the time. You can't make an ounce of time to help me out with any of this. Now this, oh, this is interesting. We actually get to see that manipulative side that the Nora has been warning us about. I'm sorry, Chloe. It's just really busy now that we're back on campus and things with the. <sighs> I'm always trying to do things on my own. I'm, I'm really sorry, Chloe. Don't be. With or without your help, I'm winning this thing. I wanted you, your help because I appreciate your opinion, but also because I thought I'd be nice to spend time together. Oh yeah, she is manipulative and manipulating me. But since you don't have time, I'll leave you be. See you later. See you never. Chloe, Chloe, wait! I knew she wouldn't take that well. Chloe way or no way? Chloe's way or no way? Oh well. Time for class. Feels good to be back. And we know this as well. Uh, we are talking with Miss Rose and the uh, teacher assistant, TA, is uh, taking down notes for us. And we're getting to law uh, work uh, with Lauren on this. And we are going to be nice to her because she is such a cute girl. Damn, well done. <laughs> Thank you. So, what are we supposed to do now? Want to take a nap like Ryan? Zoom to Ryan, sleeping. And we are talking. And we want you to help Lindsay with the bake sale. Because that will increase her chances of winning astronomically. And she... Congratulations, your key character trade loyal has just changed the outcome of a decision someone was making. Okay. Oh. 
And here we go. Lindsay is now asking for our help and I will take it. Or rather, I will help her out. Now, wow, Lindsay is in clear position here to win so far. From the very beginning, I've been in support of your campaign and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Oh damn, she got close. That's exactly what I expected. Well then, partner, meet me at dawn in the janitor's closet, aka my presidential headquarters. Well, the closet is usually done for something else, but let's see here. <laughs> okay, will do, boss lady. Ah, right, now we get to meet Autumn as well, and uh, uh, once we were, while we were away in Europe, uh, the dog uh, place had to be go through some renovations, and now it's being reopened with a new name, and so she is opening it up for a new, uh, a new basically. It was great. And it would be great to catch up with you, and we should hang out more. And here we go, the janitor's closet, without great using IS apparently. This is an office, right? This is an office right here. A good close hug. Hey you, thanks for coming. You like this spot, huh? Hell yeah, oh, I love this. The real question is, how did you get permission to use it? I did a little favor for the janitor, and now... Well, let's just say he's a big Lindsay supporter now. This... Considering what kind of game this is, I have to ask what kind of... Uh, service, or what, what was the word? Um, favor you did for him. Wait, Lindsay, did you, you know... Oh, God, no! Stupid dumbass. Thank fucking God. Miss Rose and I helped Yana get all of the kids into... All of his kids into SBC for free. Wow. Wow, that is... Hardcore, honestly. Wow, Lindsay. I just helped them with their application, but Miss Rose dealt with all the admi admission stuff. Just helped? You're an angel, Lindsay. Oh, I missed that. What did Miss Ro Mr. Rose get out of all the... Oh, it was Mr. Rose. Ooh. Mr. Rose is a bad guy. Uh, but what did Mr. Rose get out of all of this? That man's like the devil. All he said to the other was, you owe me a favor. Yeah. What a weird dude. He said it with a smile and the janitor laughed, but it really seemed like a deal with the devil type of mo moment. We should be careful about making deals with him in the future. That's definitely noted. Okay, so, the reason why we're here. Planning. Bingo! Bingo bongo. Thankfully, I planned out most of the campaign already. I just have a few areas where I could use your opinion. I'm gonna give you some choices and I just need to know what you feel is best for us and the campaign. Roger that, can do. Before we start, I want to run you through some things, because this isn't as easy as I originally thought. Of course, shoot. Phase 1 of my plan is to secure funding. We don't have hidden funds or special resources like Chloe does. Which means we should probably get in with it. the wolves, honestly. So money is priority number one, aka secure funding. Okay, we have a completely different scenario here. Gotcha, we have to actually put in some work. Right, so with that in mind, now you just have to look at my board and choose what you think is best. Both plans work and I'm comfortable with either one, so whatever you decide is what we'll go with. 
That's some heavy pressure, it lends. I trust you with my life, Kurt. Now shoes. Shoes. Okay, planning board for Lindsay, budget $200. We need to secure funding. Uh, let's see. Sell Lindsay's car. An old car that sits around in my grandfather's barn. He is he allowing me to have it. It's not the prettiest, but it gets you where you need to go. Which means take images of the car without Lindsay in them. Take images of the car with Lindsay in them. Ah, okay, those are the two options. Customize online listing, meet with potential buyers. Or steal from the chick's treasure. Oh, that is risky business. I know this sounds crazy. Why would I want to steal from the chicks, right? Well, Chloe holds all of our funds in her bedroom and right now she's using them towards her campaign. We have to get that money before she spends it all on herself. Well, that's interesting. Considering that they're both in part of the chicks, are they both entitled to that money or is it just Lynn, uh, Chloe because she's the president? Well, that's actually interesting. Remove Chloe with concert tickets. Ask Chloe out and, and stand her up. Lindsay distracts Aubrey. You steal the chick's money from Chloe's room. Ooh. Well, the ape's mo motto is basically do whatever it takes to get ahead in life. So question is, can we get Chloe to actually go out with me since she said that she wanted to spend more time with me? Or do we actually have to just... If we want to get Chloe away from her room for the night, all we need are two tickets to the concert happening this Thursday. She won't be able to say no. She's been wanting to see this band for a while, but this will take almost all of the money I have at the moment. The budget friendly way to keep Chloe occupied is for you to ask her out somewhere fancy and get her to wait for you as long as she possibly will. She'll also be upset, which is a nice bonus for me. But this has so much potential for backfire. <sighs> but this is a this is honestly a um, ape move to do, so I think go big and go home is the right way to do things. I don't like it though. Haha, <laughs> this is going to be insane. It's really a smart plan, I just hope we can pull it off. Me too. This amount of money could help us tremendously with the rest of the ideas I have for the campaign, even though it's a hard pill to swallow. It's nothing hard to swallow. This is the chick's treasure, right? To help fund the chicks. Yeah, but. You're a chick, no buts, except for your butt. Uh, it's all as up to me. See, complete ape move. Thank you. Of course. I can't say I'm very surprised. I can't say I'm very surprised by your choices, though. Oh, really? Really? Guess I got to know you well enough that I can pretty much guess your opinion on most things. <laughs> right. Either that you, that, you spy on me, or you're a psychic. Guess we'll never know. Let's get out of here before the night crew comes into work. I may have permission to use this place, but I don't like being in their way when they're trying to get their job done. Yeah, yeah I get that. Good idea. Let's move on. Always thinking of others, isn't she? So, people have been treating me like the Vice President of the United States. What makes you say that? They either respect love or pray that I succeed, or they completely despise me and won't even look in my direction. Yeah. Welcome to the world of fame, baby! <laughs> Everyone knows who you are now, Lindsay. That's what you wanted, right? Not at all, no. It's what I needed, yes. If you ask me what I wanted, we'd be speaking of fantasies. Well, that I can understand. 
at the end of the day, as long as all of this was worth something, it'll be, I'll be happy. People's radical emotions will come down after the election, right? Let's hope so, yeah, but regardless, there's, these next few weeks are gonna be rough for you. <sighs> You're preaching to the choir. You know I'm here for you, though. Yeah, I know that. Brr, brr, brr. Your phone is buzzing, I think. Yeah, well, it, it, it can wait. No, no. It may be important, besides, I need to run on anyway. Thank you once again for everything. Once again, always. And this is the end for this episode of College Kings 2. I will be trying to upload a new episode every three days. But I have a full-time job now, so it will be a not as often. And if you enjoy my videos, Please leave a, leave a like and maybe even subscribe to this channel. Any, all kind of help helps. And as always, I'm always looking for someone to help me out with editing these videos. And so if you have time over and you want to help me out with that, contact me and we will find a way to make things work. I don't, ha I don't have anything to offer you in exchange, however, but hopefully we can still have fun together. Goodbye everyone, and remember, just because you're not the main character does not mean you're not important.